Pacific Silver with Salient Process, and I'm going to go over the modal section available in both our Community and Enterprise Editions of the Spark Toolkit. The modal section is an alert that can be fired when a specified event has occurred. It is different from the modal alert control since it serves more as a separate section from the main interface. Typically, a layout of other controls, for example, the well or panel sections, are used inside of a modal section. Here I have my modal section control, and in configuration we have behavior, we have a close on click, when this is selected, the user can click um, the gray area outside of the modal section, and then the modal section will close. When it is not selected, the user has to click a button to programmatically close the modal section. So here I have a click to close button, and in the events, I have an on-click event, um, modal underscore section one here. I'm saying because the control ID of the modal section is modal underscore section one, so it's using the set visible method and I'm setting it to false. So when that button is clicked, the modal section will close. Now, I have another event here in my modal section um, and it's saying button two and this button here has a control ID of button two. So when the modal section is closed, the that button will, the color style will change to danger, which is red. Now within my modal section, I have a well, a well control, and then I have an output text and a decimal control. And here I have um, this button. So when the page loads, the user will see this click to see pricing information button. And I have an event here, an on-click event, to set the modal section visible. Now the event, you can use JavaScript logic to affect the effects of the control. I'm going to play this here so we can see what it looks like. So here we can see the click to see pricing information button. Click this, the modal section appears. You can see the well with the decimal, the output text and decimal control. And when I click in the gray area, the modal section isn't closing because I do not have the click and close um, selected. So I need to click this click to close button. And then you can see once the modal section closed, that on close event fired and this button changed colors. So let's change this click on close behavior. Let's select this and play it again. Click this to see pricing information, and then if I click in the gray area, the modal section closes. So now I'm going to show you how to get more information on the Spark Toolkit. First, go to salientprocess.com, and then click on Support. And then click on more, learn more about Spark Toolkits. And this will take you to a form to fill out and someone will be in contact with you regarding the Spark Toolkit. Now, once you have access to the toolkit, you can browse the knowledge base articles, which, um, which are articles on each Spark control, as well as a getting started section. So here is the knowledge base. You can browse the topics. And in here, each control has its own article. And then there's also a getting started section. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and please contact us for more information on the Spark Toolkit. Thank you.